Beetle. Hey everybody, welcome back to Trail 89 Adventures. I'm Todd. Today I'm about an hour south of Las Vegas and I'm running the Christmas Tree Pass Trail in the Jeep, but I'm also checking out Grapevine Canyon, which is where there's supposed to be a ton of petroglyphs. So come along with me today and check it out. six miles into the trail and the wind has died down significantly. When I first started the trail out, out in the desert, the flatlands right off of US 95, the wind was just howling. But here it's just a little slight breeze uh, going up through Christmas Tree Pass. But you can see behind me, there's some really uh, interesting looking rock formations here and uh, some cool looking, I don't even know what you want to call it, geological formations. Let's go with that. Yeah, but uh, good scenery so far on this one, which I say that a lot, but I really mean it. It's 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 pretty neat to be able to get out here and check out all these uh, interesting places that not a lot of people get to go. So. Well, you turn the corner and you get some incredible scenery. So we're in the Spirit Mountain Wilderness and there are some just massive rocks and boulders once you cross to this other side and the wind has picked up quite a bit over here too. It's just howling through here. Stopped here to just walk up to this vista area. You can't drive up here because there's big old pilings in the ground there, so you can't drive up it, but I think we're gonna see some pretty good stuff. A gust of wind just came through. I think it was probably 70 miles an hour, not pulling me off of this here, but wow, it's it's pretty neat up here and if you look back over here, look at all the jagged rocks and all the edges over there. You know, there's balancing boulders up there, and I always ask the question, hey, how did those things get up there? And how do they even stay up there? Oh, the wind's coming back, so. All right, just pulled into this parking lot for Sacatone Canyon. So there's a parking lot there, so there must be something special over here. So we're gonna go check it out. Thought we'd get out and just take a little bit of a hike here and see what we got going on in this canyon. Starts out in a wash and we've got some pretty good rock formations up there, but we'll see what we got going on here. Well, just looking at this, I can tell, easy to tell, that when it rains, there is water all over the place in here. You can see here, this is probably, you can see the water line there and how smooth this really is from all the water. 
there's a little bit of water right there. This is a pretty cool canyon. There was a pretty neat looking waterfall up there. I'm sure when the monsoon storms hit, that thing is flowing. There was a little bit of water in there, as you saw. Not a ton. And I'm, I'm trying to think the last time it rained. It's been a little bit. That's the last time it rained, but that's probably why there was just a tiny bit in there. Super sandy in here, lots of rocks, as a typical wash would be. So that last canyon, Sakatone Canyon, I guess I hiked in there about a half a mile in and a half a mile back. This canyon I'm going to now is Grapevine Canyon. It's supposed to be petroglyphs back here, so let's go check this one out. There are just thousands and thousands of petroglyphs here. They are all over the place. Yeah, now you can see on this rock here, it's starting to flake off. The layers of the rock are flaking off, but there's quite a few on this one too. Of all the petroglyphs out here, this one's gotta be the coolest one. It's got seven, probably bighorn sheep on here. You got five in a row and then one underneath, and then there's one here that's a little bit more faded and then you've got the circles there with the sun so and then maybe a couple people up top there neat stuff that petroglyph site is one of the biggest and one of the oldest in the southwest is my understanding and there was about half dozen people or so there checking them out but they were just layered and layered and layered on top of each other the petroglyphs were and uh i think the one with the big orange sheep was probably the, the coolest one there for sure but neat place on the way back to the jeep to uh, check out the rest of this trail There you have it, Christmas Tree Pass Trail, including Grapevine Canyon. Petroglyphs, definitely the highlight of that trail. The rest of the trail, the road is 100% uh, dirt, a little bit of gravel, no four wheel drive needed. Uh, the cool thing is you can get to Grapevine Canyon in just a regular vehicle, it's just a dirt road. So if you wanna go see petroglyphs, you don't have a four wheel drive, this is a great place to go. So come on out, check it out. Thanks for watching.